What's up, YouTube? It's Jermaine with another San Francisco series video. And in this video, we're I'm pretty much just gonna talk about nightlife, and I'll talk about dating a little bit, but there's not really much to say about dating. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the nightlife in the city. So a lot of people think that you know San Francisco has has just awesome nightlife. And don't get me wrong, from a lot of places, yeah, the nightlife is 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 definitely better. But from what I've seen, I really don't think the nightlife in San Francisco is that great, honestly. I mean, it is decent for me, but it really depends on what you're looking for. It, it's kind of, um, I don't know, I want to say it's kind of bleak. Uh, for example, I mean, honestly, let me take that back. The main problem with the nightlife in San Francisco is this here. It's a whole California law. You can't serve alcohol past 2 a.m. So that pretty much kills the nightlife here. Going out in, like, New York or going out in Florida, it's like, dude, people, they go out later. You know, they may go out at 1 o'clock 1 o'clock in the morning, or they may go out at midnight. Around here in Cali, if you want to go out and have a good time, you better go before 1 a.m. because last call is 1.30 at a lot of places around. So, you know, you, you know last call's at 1.30, and then you have 30 minutes to drink your drink. And now, some places, they will serve drinks up until 2, but then right at 2, they'll, like sort of take drinks and they'll make you drink your drink really fast. Um, some places, um, you know, you can um, take your own bottle in. And that's totally different when, when you take your own bottle in. I don't really know about the laws with that. I think you can get away with drinking after 2 a.m. because you, you, like, already purchased it and you didn't purchase it from the, you know, the restaurant or the nightclub or whatever. So I think you can get away with that one. But for the most part, you really can't drink after two. And a lot of places won't even won't serve well not a lot of places. Places won't serve alcohol after two. You know, if you go to a gas station or a grocery store, no, you're not gonna be able to get alcohol. So that kinda kills the nightlife. But nightlife is a little bit different in Santa Barbara, because I lived in Santa Barbara before I moved to the Bay Area, and nightlife is a whole lot different in LA. But in Santa, but in San Francisco, the nightlife is like it's not much of a hip hop scene, you know. It's more of a, a electronic dance, um, electronic dance scene, and it's also a lot of bars around here, like a lot of bars, like bars that just don't typically play music. You know, um, especially like in in in, in popping areas and touristy areas like the marina and Fisherman's Wharf, um, even North Beach. There's just a lot of bars, you know, and the only spot in the city that I can really think of that you know you can really go to and there's a lot of like music playing and there's like a few DJs and they're actually playing hip hop music. Is the Castro, um, and the Castro is, well, I mean, <laughs> they used to call it the gay area, but gosh, it's slowly changing with with the um, with the the rent skyrocketing. You know that area is just becoming more. I mean, still more. Um, a lot of tourists go there, like you know, gay and lesbian tourists. But for the most part, like. A lot of people, a lot of people that have lived there or sort of are moving out just like all other parts of the city. Like people are being displaced like everywhere. So the Castro is definitely changing, but I would say the Castro is some pretty good nightlife over there. If you, if you don't, you know, mind, you know, hanging out in the bars in the Castro. I mean, if you're a dude, you're probably going to get hit on quite a bit. But if you take a girl with you, you'll be totally fine. Um, drinks are really cheap there. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There are other places in the city. There are nightclubs. 
However, there's just like not a lot of nightclubs. Um, a lot of the nightclubs, they play like electronic dance music. One of my favorite places in the city to go to is Ruby Sky, and they play like electronic dance. And Electronic Sky is, it's like the Asian spot. Like when I go there, there's usually hella Asians. Like, and nothing against Asians. Like, dude, I love Asians. Like, gosh. I can't wait to go back to Thailand and the Philippines. Like, the food and the weather so so awesome over there in Southeast Asia. But when you go to them spots, like, it's hella Asian. And I don't know. It's just, like, it's just hella electronic dance. And it's really, it's very cliquish. And, like, whenever I do talk to people there, I notice that a lot of people don't live in the city. Like, there's a lot of tourists. And I'm not talking about tourists, like, from Texas or tourists from Florida. I'm talking about, like, just people from around the Bay. Someone, like, I usually meet a lot of people from San Jose when I go to, like, electronic dance venues in the city. Um, don't necessarily know why, but that that's just something I run into a lot. Like, like dang, you guys always come up here to check out, like, dance. And and the th- the deal is, chicks from San Jose and girls from around the Bay are, like, way easier to talk to. Like, they're way easier to talk to. Um, because, like, they're from out of town. And since they're out of town, they're just more, like, open-minded. They're just more, they're just more friendly, you know? They're, they're just not used to the city, like, for their everyday routine. And chicks that live in the city, like, they just get, like, used to the city, like, the everyday routine, so... Hella girls in the city play hard to get, like, all the time. Like, they just play hard to get all the time. And it's to the point where, like, you know, I, if I if I know a girl's from the city, like, I'll prop Like, I actually want to date girls from the city. Well, I don't want to date girls now because I have a girlfriend. But back then, when I was single, like, I wanted to date a girl from the city because, I mean, it's easy. Like, I live in the city. You live in the city. Like, that, that works. But... Dating city chicks is like, man, they just all play this, like, hella hard-to-get game. And, I mean, you kind of understand why because, I mean, they live in the city and there's hella guys probably trying to talk to them all the time. So girls sort of have to, like, pick and choose and they kind of have to, you know, play mean cards and blow you off. But talking to girls from outside of the city is a whole different thing, you know? Um... One thing I've noticed, it seems like girls from outside of the city are way more open-minded. Um, now, like, back in the day, like, I would, like, hang out. This is before I was with my girl. Like, I would hang out on Polk Street, right? And Polk Street, if you go out on, like, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, chances are you're going to meet people who live in the city, especially on Polk Street. Um, especially after midnight. And why I say after midnight is because BART, the last train from BART is like, the last train leaving the city on BART is like 12 o'clock. So all the bridge and tunnel people are out of, out of the city by then. So after 12, you know that like basically everybody, like probably these people are like, they live around here. So I would, like, hella talk to chicks, like, all the time. And, and and don't get me wrong, like, it's not like girls won't talk to you, but, like, they'll, they'll like, sort of, I don't know, they sort of, like, they set up barriers differently, you know? Like, they, I don't know, they, they sort of, like, throw flash in your face, like, oh, I went to this college, and, oh, I work for this company, and, oh, I live here, and... You know, and it's kind of like if you don't really relate with them and they give you this like right off the bat. And if you don't really relate with them, it's like, um, I don't know, you just don't end up talking to them. And city girls are like just hella, not all of them, don't get me wrong, but some of them are just like hella competitive, you know. Um, There's a lot of feminists in the city, like a lot of feminists. And. And I don't really, I don't want to get into the whole feminist talk, but it just seems like a lot of feminists, they want things to sort of be equal. And, like, they're just really competitive, you know? Really competitive. Like, like I have a better job than you, and I'm smarter than you, and I'm better than you. And, and I don't know, for me, that's just kind of, 
I don't know. That, that, that's just really weird to see, like, you know, me, I'm talking to a girl, and, like, it's almost like I'm talking to a guy because they're, like, hella competitive, and it's like, what do you do, and what do you do, and I don't know. That's, like, some city girls that I meet. But when I meet chicks from outside the Bay, it's like, dude, it's not so competitive. It's not like I do this, and, and, you, and what do you do, and where do you live, and... Do, do you have a car and how do you get around the city and like it's not like a whole like this whole competitive deal like i'm better than you i live better than you you take the bus i take uber suv man when you meet san jose girls man chicks just be down like that is like yo what's up let's chill like they're just ready to have a good time city girls want to know what you about where you ain't came from where you think you're headed and where you're actually headed. They want to know all this information, like, right off the bat, you know? That's when you meet a girl out, okay? Most folks don't meet girls out because mo most folks in the city don't even really go out that much. The way people meet in the city now is, like, apps. Like, that's how I met my girlfriend was through an app. Like, it's crazy. Like, if we were walking down the street, we probably never would have, you know, talked to each other. We, if we would have met in the grocery store, we probably never would have, like, made the same connection. But with apps, you know, you, you can make different, you can make a different connection with a person. And that's how my girlfriend and I met. And this is how most people I know in San Francisco, that's how they meet their, their other, is through a freaking app. It's not like going out and, like, talking to people. It's like, yeah, I'm looking at your photos, I'm reading your little profile, and I want to meet you. Like, that's how it happens. It's like Tinder, okay, Cupid. I mean, those days of just, I mean, just like randomly trying to talk to a chick in the city, you can totally tell if they're a city girl or if they're like a girl from outside the city. Because... Really large chance that city girls will blow you off much more than, like, outsiders. And another huge thing that really changes the whole dating spectrum is, you know, a lot, a lot of these new companies, a lot of these new startups, how they're set up is they're set up so that you can just do everything at work. Like, you can eat, eat breakfast at work, eat lunch at work, eat dinner at work, you can drink after work. You can hang out with everyone from work. So a lot of places, like, you don't really, I mean, I can never say that I've met, met anyone from a tech company at any bar. Like, I've never, ever came across anyone that says, oh, I work for Google or I work for Twitter or I work for where, wherever. Because it's like, those people don't even have to go out. So you got to think, like, the, the dating scene is totally different here. Like, you go to New York, you can meet someone on the street. You can meet someone at a bar. You can meet someone that's legit. But, like, here, it, the, the scene is just, it, it's just not the same. Like, it's not the same like Oakland. Like, Oakland, you can actually, I mean, you can walk up and, like like, randomly talk to, like, people, you know? And they'll actually, like, talk to you like they'll give you the time like they'll, they'll talk to you but in the city like it's just I don't know it maybe it's just the, the pace of life or maybe it's just the whole the tech generation you know maybe because everybody's just so glued to their phones and everybody wear wear headphones so they can't hear each other and I don't know I've definitely noticed that a lot more people are like anti-social around here a lot more people are into you know tech a lot of people just don't really go out a lot you know i mean you can really tell about on the weekends on the weekends it's hella tourists you know and it's like where's everyone else i don't know that's probably why postmates and doordash is so busy because people don't want to leave their house i don't know because they're all just dating on apps on their phone I mean, this is like a tech, a techie city. So people, a lot of things people don't do here normally that they do in other parts of the country. Like, I mean, I don't know anywhere else 
Well, except for New York, but New York's an exception. I don't know where anywhere else where people order so much stuff on apps, you know. I don't know anywhere else where people just just order so much stuff. Like, there's so much available stuff that can come to you without you going anywhere. And I don't know, it's just one of those techie places, so... Of course, dating's gonna change. And dating's gonna go to people. <laughs> Tinder must be making a killing off their subscription model. Alright, so let's do a little recap here. So, if you fly to San Francisco, you know, on an international flight, you come from, you know, London or Paris or wherever you come from, and you land here at 2.15 in the morning, a.m., don't expect to have a cocktail because you won't be able to get one. You know, once you leave the airport, you go downtown, you may find, you know, Ruby Sky's open till 4 a.m. You can get in there, but you won't be able to get any alcohol. And also, just remember, you know, you're looking for chicks, stay in the tourist areas because it's hella easy to meet tourists. Like, hella easy to meet tourists. And I'm not talking about people from France or people from New York or people from Chicago. I'm talking about people just from around the Bay that just come here and party. Um, but yeah, Union Square is definitely the spot to go. Um, there's definitely, um, so I can give you a couple of recommendations. Um, Ruby Sky and also uh, Infusion Lounge. Infusion Lounge is like a dope spot. It's um, right downtown in Union Square, really close to BART if you don't live in the city. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about um, nightlife in the city. Talk about these, you know, girls that like to play hard to get, you know, because some of them do. But some of them, dude, they just looking for an awesome time. And if you're around and that's what you want to do, you know. You can just have a blast. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You want to see more videos like this, subscribe and uh, check out my um, other videos in the San Francisco series. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.